Namaste everybody, welcome to my channel. My name's Candice and today I have an intermediate class which is really great for days where you need rest. Maybe you've been doing a lot of cardio and your body is feeling achy and you just want to spend a little longer in stretches and breathe and be present. This is just a wonderful class to be completely mindful with a bit of movement meditation. It's, a, it's airing on the side of yin yoga. It's not full yin yoga. There's a little bit of vin in there, but very small amounts of it. So it really is a very relaxing class, perhaps even a really great class to do before you go to bed at night. Or just one to do in an afternoon if you're tired, especially if you're a mum like me and you just feel a little run down, maybe you're a bit tired, you've been running after a toddler <laughs> for weeks on end, and this is the type of class you need today. So there's no need for any props, but I'm gonna be having a yoga block just for a couple of poses. I'd recommend having it, especially we're going to do a um, bridge pose where we're going to hold it for quite a while. So it might be quite nice to place that under your sacrum when we get to that part of the class. So I really hope you guys enjoy it. Let me know in the comments below how you got on. Also, let me know what pose felt really, really juicy for you today. Which one just got into an area that you didn't even realize needed all that attention. I'd love to know in the, in the comments below. So, without further ado, we'll begin. Okay, so we're going to start off in butterfly pose. Hmm, just make your way there and relax. Connecting to that ujjayi breath. You can sink lower if that feels right. Come on up, extend the right leg to the side, taking a side body stretch. Bringing it round, coming into tabletop with the right leg extended behind you. Find a rocking motion. Stretching out that calf and then send the hips back, pressing into the hands, feeling that stretch through the calf. Lifting that left leg off the ground into a plank, step through, low lunge.
come on back, stepping that right leg backwards, finding a rock in your plank. Stepping the right leg through, low lunge, opposite side. Coming up onto the back toes, finding that rocking motion once again into the back calf, just bringing that right shin to the floor. Coming into your tabletop, rocking back. And then press backwards with using the palms, pressing your foot as far back as you can. Bringing that right heel close to your close to your thigh, extending the left leg out long, and finding that side body stretch. Coming back into your plank, holding it for three breaths. Up dog, three breaths. Downward facing dog, three breaths. Lifting the right leg, coming forward to your pigeon pose, taking your time. Sitting up tall to start with. And then relax down. If you can find a twist, taking a grip of the right toes with the right fingers.
come on up taking a quad stretch tucking the toes under the armpit Maybe taking mermaid. Release. Lifting up off the back foot, make your way into cow face pose, right leg on top. Full Gomukhasana if you can. With the left arm on top behind you. Releasing the hands, start to twist to the left, coming into a standing straddle stretch. Straddle, forward fold. Maybe interlace the fingers, allow them to fall up and over the head. Half lift, plant the hands, step back, down dog. Left leg lift. Coming into pigeon, left side forwards. Staying up on the fingertips to start with. Maybe folding forwards. Perhaps finding that twist with the left hand gripping the left toes.
making your way up with your quad stretch tucking the toes under the armpit if possible into mermaid releasing the leg lifting the body up and coming into Gomukhasana left leg forwards and perhaps full Gomukhasana with the right arm on top releasing the hands and continuing to twist over towards the right into your wide-legged forward fold maybe you interlace the fingers stretching through the shoulders and making your way into downward facing dog Make your way to forward fold at the top of the mat. Maybe ragdoll, maybe interlace. And take a grip of the elbows behind the legs. Making your way down all the way to the ground. Coming into a bridge pose. You can use your block underneath your hips. We're going to be here for quite a few breaths. So rest your block on your sacrum and not on the lower part of the spine, so on the harder bit just above your tailbone.
Remove the block and keep the, lip, the hips lifted for another three deep breaths. Slowly roll down. Lift the legs to the sky, taking a reclined hamstring stretch. Then start to rock. And then make your way into plow pose. Rolling back down, taking a twist over towards the right. Any twist of your choice. Coming out of your twist, take it to the other side.
and coming out of your twist and making your way into your final resting pose, Shavasana. Allow your mind to be completely still. Let go of any worries. Stay present. Relaxing the whole body and breathing completely naturally. You can stay here for as long as you like and I'll be here with you for a few minutes of complete silence. I hope you enjoyed today's class. Namaste. Thank you.